everybody, it is Saturday Night Live! Let's try that again. I'm not sure that went through. It is Saturday Night Live! How are we doing tonight? Sassy Saturday! <laughs> Kelly in first with Sassy Saturday. Actually, Kitty was in first. Kelly spoke first. Hey, Kitty! On Sassy Saturday, I like that. Hey, Adele and Dazzle. Good to have you here tonight. Good to have you here. How is everybody doing this Sassy Saturday? Tell me about your Sassy Saturday. Hey, Pat in the Peanut Gallery. Hey, Dina. Great to have you here. Yeah, Sassy Saturday. From Sassy Kelly instead of Sassy Sue. So tell me about it, folks. What are we grateful for this Saturday night? I am not getting the live feed in my picture here tonight. It's really weird what I'm getting from Facebook. Ah, oh, in the rain. Well, hey, Dina, I am uh, sorry you got caught in the rain, but it sounds like you had a nice day on the boat. That, that, that's worth a tiny bit of rain in your life. In, into everybody's life, a little rain must come. It's really weird. Usually the, the video in front of me is live. And now that's on a delay. So the actual camera that I'm seeing is, is delayed, which is really weird. But what are we grateful for besides Dina on a boat? Kitty's grateful she survived another week. Yes, you did. Week 23, 24, 25 at this point, uh, depending on which metric you're using to count it. Okay, but survival is key. Great sales. Uh, I like that. Uh, whenever they happen, Pat, I like that. I like that. We had a little slower Saturday um, than the past few, but, uh, you know, it's... Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to when it's great, so that's okay. I'm not, uh, not losing sleep, and we had a lot of online sales today, too, so... Uh, uh, including some good-sized furniture ones, so I, I am not uh, too worried about it in the uh, whole scheme of things. So, um, but that's great. I am glad to hear it on this Sassy Saturday. We are on Self-Care Sunday Eve. Self-Care Sunday Eve is where we're at, which is great. Uh, I like that. I'm still trying to figure out why I'm not uh, getting the live feed. Here, it's giving, driving me nuts here, Facebook. Facebook! Facebook! What are we going to do with it? I, I, I do not know what to do with Facebook some days. But I'm glad uh, that you guys are all doing well. Let's get this program started so I can get you back to your sa Saturday night. So, Saturday night and the feelings right on Sassy Saturday. Hey, Kelly. Well, I'm happy to help in any way I can. You know, I, uh, this is all, we're all in this together, and we're going we're gonna to talk about that a little bit tonight, um, because there's been some topics on that. So let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Keep on trying to find new pages. Do, 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 do. Oh, I like this. Good morning. We start the program every night with the Good Morning, Good Night book. That's how we get this program started every night. Tonight we are on page 42, 42 if you're following along in the book. 
Good morning. Everything could change today. Or one tiny vital thing. What it won't be is a rerun of yesterday. Let's go, people. Ah. Do, 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 do. So uh, we're bringing another week to the close. Uh, and I liked this piece today. Okay, so uh, Jennifer, I'm glad it was a great day, great Saturday for you. And I think, and and that's what I'm hearing from people in Florida today is that it was a great Saturday. So that's a good thing for Florida. Maybe Florida is coming out of its worst uh, days, which would be a wonderful thing, Jennifer. I know Florida's had a lot of dark days, so if you're on the other side of that, guys are coming to the other side of that, that would be wonderful. I would not put any uh, stock in one day, though. I would, you know, this is still a roller coaster, but we're headed in the right direction. We are definitely headed in the right direction. I liked this quote um, that I'm sharing with you tonight um, because so often um, you guys always want to beat somebody else. Okay, you guys are nuts about it, fanatical, I would even say, about, well, how does this compare to Sally and Susie and um, Stephen, and how, how am I comparing to others? And um, I've constantly told you not to worry about that, worry about beating you, okay? And... I liked this quote. We achieve more when we chase the dream instead of the competition. We achieve more when we chase the dream instead of the competition. Let that sink in. Let that sink in, folks. So as we're talking about sales today, one of the things, one of the questions I had, and I'm not sure if anybody that's on tonight um, is running sales this weekend. And I ask that because I've gotten a lot of emails, um, your customer-facing emails, okay, that are talking about sales this weekend. I've seen anywhere from 10 to 75% off sales running in various different um, things. So I'm wondering if you're running a sale this weekend and if it's working for you. So uh, we are not. Uh, we are not running a sale. Um, but uh, normally Labor Day weekend is a busy time for us. So normally Labor Day weekend, which it's a little late this year, but normally Labor Day weekend is busy for us uh, because of back to school. Granted, back to school isn't what it is this year. So, um, but tell me if you're running a sale or if you're just having a good weekend. Um, that's something I want to know about. So bring me up to date on that and tell me about that and then the other thing i wanted to talk about um which will probably be more of a conversation you aren't open on sundays well that's a conversation for another day kelly <laughs> except for i know there's location issues and and other things and i'm not going to get into a philosophical of be open on sundays or not be open on sundays one of my locations uh I, I agree. In general, Jana, sales aren't necessary. I thought, uh, the excess, I thought the sales that were running this weekend and some of the stores that I know that are running them, I, I thought they were giving away margin. I thought they were totally uh, giving away margin um, and totally unnecessary to drive traffic. I thought they had enough uh, going on from what I already know of their numbers uh, this, uh, headed into this weekend that running the sale on the holiday weekend because keep in mind, the holiday doesn't really matter anymore. To most people, it's just another day. You know, uh... Oh, Kelly, 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 Sundays and Mondays. Just because, boy, do we have to talk. Um, but um, it's just another day, you know, uh, Monday being Labor Day. And to that point, usually my processing team takes Labor Day off. So my warehouse is off on, on normally on Labor Day, and they all wanted to work because it's just another day. 
and nothing is normal with their kids' schedules or anything else. So they all want her to work, which is great. I mean, I'm happy to have them and always, always welcome them working, but it's normally a day that they take off. Whoa, over 11 inches of rain. Oh, and that pretty new building, you got leaks. Uh, Creed, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm glad uh, I'm not going to hit you with a wet noodle, Kelly. I'm glad you had an awesome day, Creed. That, that is good, except for the leaks this week. So the other big topic of tonight that I wanted to talk about is crying or days that make you want to cry, okay? There's a lot of that right now. I mean, I... Uh, there's a lot of crying right now. There's a lot of... And it's not meant at you, okay? A lot of the stress that is coming from our customers, consigners, or even staff is not really directed at you, although it is hitting you like a lead balloon, okay? It is hitting us hard. And, you know, Terry's point in her message of going home in tears last night is very raw and real, okay? Very raw and real. A lot of people are feeling that way. Uh, on various days because of that one person that comes in and, and just lambastes you for whatever it is. And, and it doesn't matter what the business is. It really, it really does not. We have had, you know, people in our stores, we have had, you know, I talked to a restaurant owner yesterday who was getting beat up uh, over a steak that they wanted more well done and it was too rare and instead of getting it cooked you know more well done they wanted a whole new steak too and and now because they cut into it and um you know on and on and on and and then just went up one side of them and down the other it's hard dealing with the public right now there there is no if ands or buts but the anger that is displayed or the um you know, is just not directed towards you. It, it just isn't. You can't take it personally. You have to step away. You know, one of my tricks is, uh, you know, in my own stress relief is taking a walk around the building, um, literally going and taking a walk outside around the building um, it, it is, a, is a good thing for my mental health. Um, you know, the, these moments of mental health are really important. Um, you know, that's part of why we talk about Self-Care Sunday, um, is so that you take a moment in the week for you, okay? We all have an incredible amount on our plates right now. Incredible, okay? And we've been going at it nonstop, okay? It always seems like we're nonstop, but we've been really nonstop since March, a million miles an hour since you reopened whenever that was, okay? It's been incredibly difficult. As we head into the fall, as parents are dealing with getting their kids back to school, finding some routine, you know, dealing with whatever side of the school debate they fall on, and it really doesn't matter. There's no right side, okay? It's what's right for you and what's right for you today, okay? Because tomorrow, tomorrow they could have a completely different viewpoint on it. And that's okay, too. It, it, it's just acknowledging and working with it and, and taking a deep breath. It's okay to do that. It's okay to let your stress out in tears if that helps. Okay? Um, it, it's okay to do that. Okay, we're all human, and being human um, is hard right now. Okay, so taking a moment to show extra compassion. Okay, to take a breath, to 
not take it out on them when they take it out on you. Yeah, I mean, it, it's hard, Creed. I mean, you know, it, it, everybody's going through something, and we don't know what pain they are going through, what stresses they're going through. You know, they may have lost a job. They could have lost a family member to COVID. They, they, can, they can be just dealing with the 24-7 of their kids at home being the mother, the teacher, the custodian, the lunch lady, the nurse, um, on and on, the playground attendant, everything, everything. Okay, that's not easy. That's not what they thought they signed up for. There's no break. Some people, you know, had breaks with their parents helping out or something, but are now staying away from their parents so because of COVID so that they don't catch it. There's just, you need to have these moments of, of a deep breath, and it's okay to do that. It really is. I'm not saying it's easy to do, but take a breath, walk away, you know, or even have a code word in your store when this is happening, when a customer is unloading, so that you just swap, okay? Because many times in any customer situation, just to change a face or a different person to tell the story to is okay. But let, let your person off the hook, let them walk away and take a walk around the building, okay? It's okay, okay? It's okay to be okay. And it's okay to take a breath. Um, I, you know, I'm, I have the personality where I'm really good at not taking things personally, even when they are. And uh, that's correct. You don't need somebody like that in your life. Most of the time, it's just a moment. Most of the time, after they've had time to reflect, they apologize. But you don't need this kind of anger and hostility in your life. Our stores are public places, but that does not, but they are private property. And nothing that we do, okay, not one customer, not one place, not one item it, it is worth that kind of um, moment, okay? So take a breath. Take time for yourself and take time to recharge. Take time to recharge. That is what Self-Care Sunday is all about. Self-Care Sunday is where we take time every week, since this has been going on, to recharge. Every week we have the recipe of the week, and this week I'm bringing you two. One of which, one of which, I have already made. I made it. I made it. Yes, I did. So we have two recipes for self-care Sunday this week. We have special K bars, which I got to say look really uh, good. They are a delicious no bar cookie. Not take nothing seriously, Kelly. Take nothing seriously. Uh, the crunch of the cereal is complemented by rich and chewy caramel, peanut butter, and smooth and creamy chocolate. You got to use Special K cereal in this recipe because of the way it, it uh, soaks it all in. So Special K bars. Total time uh, is uh, 25 minutes, 15 minutes of prep, 10 minutes of cook. And that I got to say that looks really good. And then my second self-care Sunday recipe of the week. That's good, Jennifer. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Sometimes we have to fire consigners. My second self-care Sunday recipe of the week, and this is the one that I made because I had to test it, world's easiest fudge in under 10 minutes. World's easiest fudge in under 10 minutes. Um, and um, one of the keys to this recipe is sweetened condensed milk. Okay, you can't use evaporated milk. So sweetened condensed milk, uh, prep time of five minutes, cook time of two minutes. Um, 
I probably took a tiny bit longer, but I got to say it felt pretty easy. It is currently chilling, and we'll have to see whether my uh, peanut gallery likes that tonight. Uh, but those are our two recipes of the week. World's easiest fudge in under 10 minutes and special K bars. That is uh, what we're cooking with this week. And that we add that to the Resale Strong cookbook. The Resale Strong cookbook is what we've been using to get us through all these weeks. Uh, uh, all of these weeks is what we've been getting through. Um, and, oh yeah, I like peanut butter fudge. One of the fudges I like is we have an employee who makes fudge for everybody every Christmas. She makes fudge for all the locations. Everybody, um, she sends little tins of fudge to everybody. And uh, every holiday season. So, uh, um, I w always love that. Um, but I certainly, uh, this uh, world's easiest fudge seemed easy. Um, and I put it to the test because you know I'm not one in the kitchen. But I made it. So we'll see. I'll let you know tomorrow night how it came out. Uh, my peanut gallery will let you know, and we'll go from there. But I'm with you, Vina. Peanut butter uh, fudge is always a nice addition. Um, we, we tend to stay away from some, even though I like peanut butter, we tend to stay away from uh, um, some of the peanut butter uh, things baking-wise because that triggers Rebecca's migraines. But that's a side, side thing. So that is about self-care, taking time every week. For you to recharge, for you to regroup, and to come together is so important. So take this time tomorrow, if not tomorrow, another day. Make sure you reserve time for it. It's extremely important, and I want a healthy you. All of these videos and everything I talk about, including these videos and the files um, that I list, including the recipes for Self-Care Sunday Cookbook, are over at narts.org slash resale strong. Narts.org slash resale strong. They are there to keep it nice, easy, and organized for you. And uh, so that you can find everything nice and easy. And they are there so you can share it with all of your friends. All of your friends. Uh, and we can get everybody around and through this. Butcher, baker, candlestick maker, fudge shop even. We want to get them to the other side of this. Absolutely, positively. Um, we're going to get everybody to the other side. And um, if I am here at more 8 than ish every night, live in the Narts Private Facebook group, live in the Narts Private Facebook group every night. Uh, that is where you find me live. If you have a question in between, you just email me. Email me at neil, N-E-I-L, at ecistores.com. N-E-I-L, at ecistores.com. Don't forget tomorrow, tomorrow, on Sun Self Care Sunday at 2 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Eastern, uh, Melissa is doing a demo, a, a live demo of the... Um, Loyal Shop Selling Assistant, okay, where you can just be scanning items and invoicing automatically. Um, she'll be doing a live demo on the NARTS public page. So not in the NARTS private Facebook group. She will be on the NARTS public page. So make sure um, you check that out there tomorrow live at 2 o'clock Eastern. Don't miss it. Uh, I, I got to give you some everyday courage from the book that Vina gave us because everybody needs a little bit more courage right now. Um, the Everyday Courage book. Let's open up and see what we got for today. Okay. I got two things for you. Two things tonight. All things are difficult before they are easy. All things are difficult before they are easy. And so much so for today that it's so important. Be an optimist. While conventional wisdom suggests it's wise to expect the worst, that way you won't dis be disappointed when things go wrong and it'll be a pleasant surprise if things go work out, much research has suggested that it isn't the most helpful attitude to adopt. That pessimism can undermine your performance, creating a self-fulfilling prophecy. Be an optimist, people. Okay, we're gonna get through this. We are everyday courage, people.
Everyday Courage. We start this program every night with the Good Morning, Good Night book. The Good Morning, Good Night book is how we start this program. Hey, Jen, glad to have you here. Good morning. And we are on page 42. Good morning. Everything could change today. Or one tiny vital thing. What it won't be is a rerun of yesterday. Let's see. Our good night tonight is good night. Everything could change tomorrow. Or one tiny vital thing. What it won't be is a rerun of today. Rest up. Look at those graphics, folks. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Neil Abramson. I do like a good party, a wedding, a bar mitzvah even. What I do know is that we will be together before you know it, and we will party again, and I will be there with you. Until tomorrow at more 8 than ish, more 8 than ish Eastern, live in the NARS private Facebook group, know that you, and you, and especially you, yes you, you are not alone running this store. It's time for dinner, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.